Hey guys, Brian here. The day before yesterday, we just did a Serato Scratch Live Clinic with uh, DJ New Styles, Rock D, and Pete Spence. Thanks guys, that was right on. If you haven't seen the clinic, watch it. Last video I did, just check it out. Okay, now, a lot of people are asking me, what is Scratch Live? I don't get it. All right, here. The Happy Viking, who's also on DJTutor.com in the DJ Import section, does do some tutorials on this, okay? He's been using it for a while, and uh, he can hook you up. But I thought I'd go ahead and give you my take on it. I'm going to show you how to get started. Here's the deal. The good news about Scratch Live is that uh, the software is free. The bad news is you can't really use it to mix until you own the interface. However, you can do a lot of cool things like build your overviews and build your crates and things like that. So when you do buy Serato Scratch Live, and you will eventually buy it, okay, you can use it. Now, how do you use this thing? You can use it a couple different ways. you got to have the interface. You can use it just on your computer in one mode. All right. You can also use it uh, with your turntables or your CD turntables. Okay. Basically, it's going to allow you to take your entire MP3 library on your computer, and it's going to allow you to uh, manipulate those songs, mix those songs with vinyl or CDs. That's pretty cool. And this is how it works. I mean, here, these are MP3s on my computer. Here's what the vinyl looks like, okay? You get two of these with uh, every uh, Serato Scratch Live box you buy. And I'll show you the box here in a minute, okay? You interface that on your computer, real easy to hook up. Here's the record right here, just a regular old record. And I'm going to pop it on the turntable. Just give it a listen. This is what the record sounds like, okay? It's time-coded vinyl. It sounds like a fax machine, okay? Now... That's what it sounds like without using the program, okay? When you use the program, this is what you can do. Just drag your tune into this program. Then you just manipulate it like you would anything else, right? And we're mixing. Just like if you had the records. Now let me show you how to get started, okay? You don't need to own this, okay? All you have to do is go out and download this. I'm going to show you where to download it. I'm going to show you how to put folders together. I'm going to show you how to build overviews, okay? But first, this is the interface. i got a tripod on here, but uh, have a look. That is the interface right there. Rain Serato Scratch Live, okay? And you plug your uh, turntables or your CD players or whatever you want into this interface. Uh, plug the interface into your mixer, and uh, then wherever your audio output is, be it your, uh, your PA for your mobile, be it your home computer, or whatever, you just do the uh, audio ins from your mixer into whatever that audio source is, and away you go. There's a whole setup screen on here, and we'll get into that later. But first, let's get started. For those of you who don't own it, but plan to buy it, this is what you can do today. Okay, here's my laptop. We're going to do a fresh install here. First thing you need to do is open up your Internet Explorer and you go to this website right here. It's scratchlive.net slash downloads. Okay, a couple different different options here. You've got update your Scratch Live software. Well, we don't want to update it because we don't own it yet. Okay, we don't have it yet. Down here, download software installers. Okay, click to download either a Mac or Windows based here. Windows installer, we want that. So we'll click on it. Okay, what we want to do is we want to open it up and it downloads. Okay, now how fast is it downloading? Well, as fast as my internet connection will allow it to. It looks like we've got uh, like about 50 seconds it's going to take to download this. As soon as it downloads, we'll start the video again and we'll install it. Okay, after it installed, this is what we got drivers, readme, and setup. Okay, click on setup. Okay, we're going to run setup. It's going to install into the system. Of course, we want to uh, accept the terms of licensing. 
we want a complete setup because that's usually the best way to go with something like this create a shortcut yep install and uh, here it goes it's installing for us isn't this interesting to watch okay boom it's complete so we can finish now our software is installed okay so let's do this let's click on our software and let's have a look at it and see what it looks like there it is okay right up here this little flashing uh, warning sign says interface disconnected well that's cool because uh, let's assume that you don't own anything yet to uh, do any kind of interfaces at the bottom here uh, the very bottom it says show album art and there's a plus sign if you press this plus sign you're gonna get what's called a crate I'm gonna press it crate one just appeared up here okay now this is how I do it I'm gonna minimize my program kinda of pull it over here for a moment open up my documents now I'm just going to uh, grab something anything here I've got a big mess of music here I'm gonna go into my music okay whoops that's my videos are going to go into my music wherever it is here we go my music I'm gonna grab something that's just on my computer right now okay open it up alright I'm gonna find uh, something here in one of my music folders uh, let's put some electro in there right here okay see this this uh, street jams collection I have in here where is it there it is street jams okay I'm gonna grab this folder drag it to create one and drop it okay now there it is see all of my songs just appeared in Serato scratch live okay so basically what you can do is you can set up all of your record crates now on the new version which is 1.7 or 1.17 click here set auto BPM okay you can press that button and then press build overviews now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate all the BPMs for the songs I loaded in now I loaded in four CDs worth of music here it's going to take a little while to do but as you can see we're in progress right now it is calculating our BPMs let's let that calculate and then we'll come back to the screen once it has and we'll show you what you can do okay here we are all of our BPMs and links have calculated now this is how you view everything first of all let me break the menus down for you here you've got a track number you've got song artist album length and comment that's what you get by default now if you don't need all this stuff you can go right over here all the way to the end of the uh, the little uh, menu bar here okay click this arrow that points to the left and you can alter all of this okay there's like added album artist bitrate BPM comment composer file name genre grouping label length location remixer sampling size track and year okay now I don't really need uh, comment I'm gonna get rid of that okay the comments go away but I'd like to have BPM so I click on BPM and there I have it BPM they're all listed for me now let me just say that I loaded 50 songs into Serato it took 18 to 20 minutes to calculate the BPMs and the length basically build the overviews okay again what we did was we clicked uh, set auto BPM and build overviews and it took its time and it built all our overviews for us okay about 18 20 minutes and there you have it you can get started today building your overviews okay which gives you your time and your BPM uh, go ahead if you plan on buying it download the software and do it I'm gonna do tentatively one more video on this which is hooking it up to your machine and uh, getting it installed and all that kind of fun stuff okay but be above and beyond that uh, let me know if you guys want more from me I'd be happy to do it in the meantime do check out the happy Viking he's got plenty of videos on this and remember I'm brand new at this this is a very new thing for me uh, most of what I've learned I've learned either watching happy Vikings videos or reading it or at the clinic we just had so I'm not an expert just showing you how to get started. Practice and enjoy.